Hi, I'm Ed, and today I'm going to go ahead and do the install of the optional heat option for the Domtech uh, roof-mounted non-ducted uh, air conditioner unit. Okay, so this is the kit uh, for a non-ducted uh, add-on for the Domtech uh, roof-mounted air conditioner unit on top of our trailer. So this is what it looks like here. So you have the, uh, the ceramic coils right here, and then you have the power connector. And then you have the uh, the shroud, and it comes with the uh, the screws, and everything can be done with just a standard uh, Phillips screwdriver. So we'll go ahead and start off with. So one of the first things you got to do is um, basically you got to open up these side ports right here, and then you're gonna find screws screw points on either side, uh, basically on, on all all these right here. So um, the front one's a little more difficult, challenging to get to, but what you do is you you let close it most of the way and then you can you can get to get in and be able to access it so there's another two screws here two two and two uh, and then the next part of this is you have to basically grab these um connectors right or sorry these knobs here pull them down now uh, they pop right off and then the rest of the whole assembly uh will drop down on you okay so i have all the uh screws loose or, or screws taken out actually there's there's three on the sides and then two on the on the front two on the back so as far as getting in here, I just grab a, a small little flathead and just kind of wiggle it. So that way I can just kind of just barely get underneath it and then kind of wiggle it loose. And then I can pull the knob off. I'll go ahead and do the same for the other one. That's also helpful if you remove this. This is actually where the connector, where it's actually going to make your connection uh, into the, uh, uh, make uh, the actual power for the actual uh, ceramic piece. So there we go. And there we go. Okay, so once you have it off, here is your control uh, module where the uh, where the knobs are actually plugging into. This is your air uh, intake, and then this is your exhaust, and this is where the heater assembly uh, gets attached to. Okay, so just looking on this here, this is where where the unit is going to install right in here. Just go ahead and screw these two screws in. There's already uh, the holes already done for this, so this, it basically goes in uh, pretty easily. Okay, so now once I have this, there's this uh, hole right here. The thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and puncture that hole. And this is where the electrical is going to run. So now all I can do is I can just, I can just feed this up through, reach up. There we go, reach up and grab this. So now I have my power for the heat module. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the take this right here, and it basically it's sitting just right right there, it's like it's flat side down. It can only go in one way, so we can't mess it up too badly because it won't go in the other way. All right, and there we go. We're all set for heat from the air conditioner unit. There we go. Now I just gotta put the, uh, the shrouding back on. All right, so before you put in, uh, the whole main plastic shrouding back on, uh, you also need to attach this, uh, this little heat shield uh, mechanism here. So it helps protect, uh, it helps kind of help diffuse some of that, that heat as well. So and then we can go ahead and uh, start putting the shrouding back on, then we'll run a test. Now, when you're putting these screws back in, you gotta make sure that you don't overdo it because um, you are, after all, putting your screws back into wood. So if the ones that did the install were a little too aggressive with their with their screw work, then you'll be all all you do is just have a stripped out hole. So once it stops, you make sure you stop. All right, so now we're all assembled and ready to just go ahead and turn it on and test out the optional heat. There we go. I can already feel it uh, heating up, and I can already smell the. Uh, the heat module. Perfect. Now I don't have to burn as much uh, propane when we have uh, full hookups to uh, maintain heat inside the uh, the trailer. Okay, that was the install of the optional heater kit on a Domtech uh, roof-mounted non-ducted uh, air conditioner unit. Uh, this is a 1350 uh, BTU uh, unit, so it's a pretty standard unit uh, nowadays. Uh, seems to work out uh, pretty well. It is. Uh, basically, uh, just kind of a 
kind of like a little, a little space heater, 1500 watt uh, space heater. So it's not enough to, uh, it's not, it doesn't quite compare to the, uh, the gas furnace. However, this is uh, still enough to kind of keep the chill uh, off of it uh, when you have full hookups uh, at a, a RV park uh, resort or whatnot. So if this is uh, any help to you at all, please hit the like and subscribe button and uh, check out the comments below um, and leave, leave some feedback. Appreciate it. Thanks.